What's up everyone, this is Cybernat Games, and today we have an opening for you guys. Yes, we haven't done an opening in quite a while, and that is a uh, Pokemon TCG XY Primal Clash box opening for you guys. Uh, yeah, I haven't done really any Pokemon openings for a while. Uh, been debating on bringing them back to this channel, so I thought I'd get this box and kind of see what you guys think on that. You know, should we kind of bring them back, or should we actually have a separate channel for Pokemon openings? I don't know. I just want to hear what you guys think on that. And of course, I got this from StrikesOnline.com. Be sure to check them out. Link in the description. And uh, yeah, see what we get from this. So I've been kind of debating on uh, should Cybernet Games be just a gaming channel, or should it be more of the Pokemon channel with uh, openings and uh, gameplay random battles, Wi-Fi battles, all kinds of stuff in the future, of course. We've been doing a lot of the showdown battles. We'll have more themes on those, too, instead of always being random. But just the random battles are so much fun. I don't know. I'm kind of addicted to them. So I've been recording, like, every battle I do on that. So, But, yeah, I'm kind of figuring out what I want to do. And uh, tell me what you guys think, too, if you want to uh, give me your opinions on it. But, yeah, this box looks really cool. I love the designs on everything, too, if you want to kind of see real quick. I'm sure to hold the packs in place because they're wanting to fly out. But... Let's see what we get from this. I'm going to try the card trick. Let's see. I don't normally do the card trick thing. I don't know. But, uh, we'll try it. We'll see. I don't know. Right, one, two, three from what I hear. And then you take these two. And I believe I did it right. I hope I did it right. <laughs> Alright, let's see. We have a Tentacool, Torchic, Hippopotas, Surskit, Barbage, a Rhydon, Badoof. Oh, we have something good. I kind of spoiled it there. Nidoqueen. Tangrowth. And we have a Mega Gardevoir EX. Already, first pack. Now that's the way we want to start an opening. Man, that looks awesome. You know, it is kind of cool to have the, the main card at the back of the pack, too. Like, I wish they would just do that. I mean, everyone does this card trick anyway. But, uh, yeah, that looks amazing. So, man, I'm trying to get all the Megas, too, by the way. So, definitely wanted to get that one. See, and then we'll put our the cards over to the side. I guess it protects the, the hollow card, though, if uh, it's in the middle of the pack. So I can see why they're doing that, but man, it would be so much nicer if uh, they would change the order on it to make it easier for people that like doing the, the card trick. Let's see, we have a Shroomish, Tangula, Bidoof, Clampearl, Medtite, Vibrava, Laloon, a uh, Kyogre Spirit Link. Oh, that looks cool. I like the artwork on that one. Then we have a Metacham. Metacham looks really cool too as a reverse. And a Swampert. Swampert Holo as well. Very nice. I, I like Swampert. He's pretty cool. I like all the Hoenn starters though, really. So that looks awesome. Maybe we can get Sceptile as well. Blaziken's probably my favorite of the three, but I, I really like uh, Sceptile and Swampert as well. I mean, there's not really one I don't like. It's it's almost even, I would say, for Hoenn. Usually I have strong opinions about which one's my absolute favorite on starters, but not really with Hoenn. I, I really like the designs that they went with. In all honesty, especially with the Megas, too. I like all the Megas. Let's see, we have a Bidoof, Horsey, Chinchou, Tainmo, a Nidoran Female, then we have Freshwater Set, Weakness Policy, a uh, Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick, uh, teammates reverse, and then we have electric for our, I believe, and we have electric for our final card on that. That looks cool. Electric's an interesting Pokemon. I got that in uh, one of our random battles. I don't know when it's going to be uploaded. I ended up trying it out because I really never have before. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. Another thing I like about the random battles, you use all the Pokemon you normally wouldn't or I wouldn't, and uh, kind of an eye-opener for certain Pokemon to realize that they're Actually, pretty good. Let's see, starting off with a Torchic, Merrill, Surskit, Zigzagoon, Trico, Grovile, a Lantern, then we have a Shrine of Memories, Tentacruel for our reverse, that looks cool, and we have a Zoomerill for our final card on that. Looks <laughs> like the artwork on that. It looks like he's. I don't know, it's like he did something wrong, I guess, or, or she, I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah, that was kind of funny. It's like, what did I do? There we go. Put the, 
coders, aside of people that are wondering what I'm doing, you get codes in each pack, so you can use them on the TCG online game, which I need to do some videos of. I'll open up these two uh, on a video as well. Here we go, we have a Feebas, which I can never find in the actual game. Salugma, Bunnelby, Lotad, Metatite, then we have a Professor Birch's Observations, Dual Blade, a Teammates, then we have a Reverse of Professor uh, Birch's Observations, and we have a Rhyperior. Rhyperior's uh, really cool looking in that work, I like that. I like Rhyperior. I like it whenever older Pokemon get new evolutions. I'm hoping next generation, whatever that's going to be called, will have some kind of new evolutions. Not, not, I don't really count Megas as much on it, even though Megas are awesome. But I'd love to see some evolutions for certain Pokemon that never got any kind of evolution, like Tauros, for example. It's one I'd really like to see an evolution for. Kind of surprised that one Buffalo from Black and White was an evolution for it. Buffalo or Yeah, I think I said that right. I forget some of the Black and White Pokemon sometimes. Hippopotas, now my Slugma, Ninoran Female, Trapinch, Sveal, Rare Candy, that looks cool. Then we have a Barbaro, a Bidoof, there you go, getting them both together. Dual Blade Reverse, and we have a Kyogre EX, Full Art. Oh man, that looks amazing. I wonder if we can also get a Groudon. I'd love to have Kyogre and Groudon, those are two of my favorite legendaries too. I really liked third gen, and a lot of the designs were just amazing looking, and seeing this is just... I don't know, it just confirms it even more how awesome that looks. Let me see if I can brighten up the camera a little bit, too. It looks kind of dark for me. There, kind of went up a, a stage on brightness. That looks... That just looks awesome. Definitely keeping that for my collection. I keep wanting to build something around Pokemon. I'm not really sure. I ended up building a Blastoise egg, which I don't know if that's really too great by today's standards. I don't really know the Pokemon meta as well. I just really like the cards. More of a collector. Like the bad guy in the second Pokemon movie. <laughs> Except I won't capture the legendary birds. Here we go. We have uh, Weedle, Zigzagoon, Shroomish, Sveal, Mudkip. I like that artwork too. <laughs> Dive Ball. Then we have a Tentacool, a Vibrava, Voltbeat for our reverse, and we have an Excadrill. Excadrill is uh, really cool. It's one of my favorites from Black and White, so glad to see a card of it. And uh, yeah, I really like the pose like it's doing on there. I need to do like a top 10 favorite Pokemon video and some stuff like that for you guys. I've been debating on that and tell me what you guys would think on seeing some videos like that as well. Like top 10 legendaries and just uh, uh, Pokemon in general and other things too. Always looking for opinions on, and you know, and video ideas. We have a Volbeat, Spinda, Mudkip, Feebas, a Illumis. Then we have Seedra. Those are two different ones we didn't got before. Gorbis. A Buffalant, there we go, that's the one I was talking about a while ago that I thought Taurus would evolve into. Tynemo, and we have a Groudon EX. Man, that looks cool. It's not full art like the other one, like the Kyogre, but it still looks amazing. I still hope I can get a full art one. Maybe we can in this box. I, I hope so, because I'd like to have them both together on that. I just think they look amazing. But uh, yeah, even just without it being full art, it still looks just so cool. I mean, it gets Groudon. Groudon is so cool looking anyway. There we go. Very happy with our... EXs so far. Looking to get the Megas, I think there's two or three Megas in this. I don't remember. Let's see, there's three. Kind of getting used to this card trick now, a little bit. <laughs> Trying to make sure I don't mess up. I'm really concentrating here. Probably more than I should <laughs> concentrate. Let's see, Electrite, Feebas, Skitty, Trico, Bunnelby, Grove Vial. Then we have a uh, Shield Energy, which is Special Energy. Wish Cast. A Nido Queen, which is our Reverse. And a Ludicolo. <laughs> Ludicolo is such a funny looking Pokemon. I really like it. It looks so funny. It's really, I like the artwork too on that. It's almost like a full art in a way, the way they did it. I believe it's supposed to be the Origin cards. Is that what they're called? I think that's right when they have like that across it. Something like that. Maybe I'm wrong on what I'm calling them, but it looks amazing. I mean... No matter what, I mean, that still looks awesome. Oh, I can't get the cards out of this pack. There we go. That means there's some good cards in this. That's what it has to mean. There we go. Starting out, we have a Staryu, Lotad, Solrock, Drillbur, then Nosepass. <laughs> 
uh, Rough Seas, Mr. Mime, man, so creepy, Mr. Mime, uh, my cargo, a Ninetales reverse, that looks cool, kind of the usual uh, art for Ninetales, and then a Diggersby. Looks like the older Ninetales artwork that I remember from, I guess, the base set? Which one am I remembering? I'm not really sure. I always confuse the, the packs for Pokemon. I collected them a long time ago, too. Again, though, I never knew how to actually play the game. I do now, of course, but I didn't know how to back then. Just collected, really. Trap Inch. Then we have a Vulpix, Sveal, Hone Edge, Hippopotas, a Celio, an XP Share, then Energy Retrieval, Mudkip Reverse. I like that. That looks cool with that artwork. And we have a Marcargo. That looks cool, too. Uh, again, it has that other look to it. I, like I said, I believe this supposed to be called Origin. Hopefully, I'm right on that. People will correct me in the comments, I'm sure. That way I'll know. Which I'm glad they do. That way I only look stupid for one video, if I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> no problem with that. One, two, three. Two, and... There we go. This might end up being a two-part video. We'll see. Electrike, Tentacool, a uh, Rhyhorn, Tynemo, Torchic, and we have Electrike. That looks cool. Uh, Gardevoir Spirit Link, Combuskin, Reverse Spenda, and a Starmie. I like Starmie. Starmie's pretty cool. One of the Pokemon I actually use competitively. I, I did play a little bit of competitive 4th um, Gen? Uh, yeah, around 4th Gen. It's been a while. I did some double battles and stuff, and I used Starmie. I used, like, a Rain Dance team. It was pretty fun. Still kind of deciding what kind of team I want to build now with the Alpha and Omega out. Just need to breed them now, pretty much. Torchic. We have Meryl, Surskit, Corfish, Horsey, a Silent Lab, a Groudon Spirit Link. I like the way that looks. That looks cool. A Nidorina, a Buffalant Reverse, and then we have uh, Crawdont. Hollow. That looks cool. Crawdon's a pretty interesting looking Pokemon. Another one from one of our battles. I think that was one of the ones I uploaded too. Because I think it's in the thumbnail picture. Let's see. We have uh, five packs left, I think, from the right side. I'm not sure. Five or four. It's one or the other. You guys might be hearing like motorcycles and airplanes and stuff. Uh, evidently, I choose the best times to record uh, videos. Busy road, <laughs> evidently, as soon as I start recording. Let's see, here we go. We have a uh, Weedle, Barbaroch, Sveal, Badoof, Chincho. Then we have a uh, Needle Queen, Marsh Top. I don't think we got one of those yet. That's cool. A Bunnelby. Man, that is an angry Bunnelby. <laughs> don't mess with Bunnelby. <laughs> uh, Swampert. That looks cool as a reverse. And then we have a uh, Whiskast, which is, yeah, that looks cool. I love that, with the different kind of artwork, where it has like a bigger picture for the art. wish all of them were like that, honestly. And there we go. Let's see, starting out we have a Clam Pearl, Nidoran Female, Tangula, Illumis, Slugma, Lombre, we have Rare Candy, and Electric, and a Kyogre, Reverse Kyogre, that's kind of interesting, it looks cool though, I like the artwork on it, and a Groudon, <laughs> Kyogre and Groudon, same pack, one being Reverse, and uh, yeah, that just looks uh, really cool, that's kind of cool how they ended up together like that, <laughs> they were even battling in the pack, I'm sure, need Rayquaza to help against them. I think there's supposed to be some kind of special box or something eventually with Mega Rayquaza, or maybe that's just for Japan. I, I hope we eventually get one, because I really like Mega Rayquaza. It just looks awesome. doesn't help me in random battles, though. Hmm. <laughs> Never works out for me on that, but it looks cool. Metatite. Then we have a Drillbur, Shroomish, Corefish. Then we have uh, Meryl, Maxi's Hidden Ball Trick, Rhydon, Bidoof, Shrine of Memories for a Reverse, and a Gorbis for our final card on that. That looks cool. Gorbis was always one of those Pokemon that I, whenever 
I first started playing Pokemon, you know, around in there, or uh, didn't really have the internet on it, I didn't know how to get, like, Gorbis and uh, the other one, too. I uh, can't think of his name right now. The other evolution you can turn uh, Clempearl in, though. Huntail. I think it was Huntail. Yeah, I remember those weren't too easy to get because I didn't know how to get them back then. With my dial-up internet I had, I think, around that time, which, oof, that's just murder. Let's see, we have uh, Nosepass, Spinda, Mudkip, Chinchow, Solrock, and uh, Aggron Spirit Link. I don't think we got one of those yet. It's cool to see. Torchic. Oh, man, I love the artwork on this one. Definitely going to keep this. That looks amazing. Then, oh, don't want to spoil the cards. Here we go. Lantern. Horsey for a reverse. And we have a Kingdra. Oh, man, that looks amazing. Hollow Kingdra. That just looks so cool. Uh, Kingdra was another one of the Pokemon I used on that Rain Dance team, too. It's one of my favorite Pokemon. Looks amazing. And last pack. What are we going to end up with? Last pack for the right side, I guess I should say. Go. One, two, three. One, two. Let's see. Here we go. We have Horsey, Skitty, Tangula, Trico, Hone Edge. Then we have Teammates. Freshwater set, weakness policy, a reverse uh, tentacool, and we're going to end with a Waylord EX. <laughs> Ending with an EX, and we even started with one, a Mega Evolution. So that's amazing. There we go. Waylord, man, that just looks so funny, too. It's just like, hey, everyone, <laughs> I'm going to burst through the card now, evidently. Oh, man, that's cool. Oh, I love some of these artworks are kind of funny. I don't know. Maybe I'm just with a twisted sense of humor. I don't know, but <laughs> I just really like that. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. Of course, uh, there will be a part two open up the left side of the set. It will be uploaded right as soon as this one's uploaded, so you can't miss it. So be sure to subscribe. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. And of course, I will catch you guys later. See ya.